For many of us, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media accounts are a daily addiction, but for law enforcement, they are proving to be a valuable asset in their day-to-day -day operations. Today, our Logan McDougal spoke with one department that is relatively new to the social media scene to see how it has changed and how their office now operates. In their fight against crime, law enforcement has a number of different tools at their disposal. But now the Soda Springs Police Department is adding one more tool to their belt. There's a theory called community policing, which basically involves uh, the community and the police department working together. We found uh, over long courses of study that when the police department and community work hand in hand, we're far more effective in solving crimes and uh, being aware of crimes. In February of this year, the Soda Springs Police Department created a Facebook page as a way to reach out to the community. Oftentimes folks only contact with the police is when they're pulled over or things like that. And, and we're hoping to, to show that we are really here to serve our public as well as to protect them. The page gives users a chance to communicate directly with the department on a number of different levels. On the animal control side of things, the page has met a large degree of success. We just kind of gave it a, a test run and people really responded positively to it. We reached 500 people with our first animal control post and uh, were able to very successfully locate the dog's owner uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, through Facebook, their neighbors had noticed the picture and said, hey, that's our neighbor's dog, they're out of town, and they are expected back this time, this is how you can reach them. And so we were able to contact those owners and successfully place that dog. The department has also embraced another social media tool, Nixle. Users can submit their information to the service and in return receive real-time alerts. It works in a similar manner to reverse 911, only cheaper to the taxpayer pocketbook. Reverse 911 is rather expensive uh, to use, charging us a fee for each person that we call, as well as a use fee each time we use it. We use this free service and uh, are able to save the taxpayers a little money and s save everyone a little time. Logan McDougall, KPVI News 6. For more information on the Soda Springs Police Department's social media pages, you can find a link to the department's website in this story on our website at kpvi.com.